Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this angular video tutorial we will see what is the model and how we can make it. Alright, so these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. First of all, we will see theoretically what is the model, then we have to make a service and inside this service we will make a function and after that we will define a model for this service. Alright, so now the first question is that what is the model? So model is basically the data structure of your application or a service. Alright. So let's say uh, you are just hitting a service and it will just return a data from the API and in this API there is a very various kind of data like say some data is a string, some data is the boolean value, some is number then we can just uh, validate them with the defining a model alright. So for example let's say a single API just returning the result like name is uh, Peter and uh, let's say it's uh, it's also coming here is and is is let's say 27 all right so with that uh, this is the uh, basically result which is coming from the apis but maybe after that some time this result uh, have the different data type right right so if we just define uh, the model for this then we can be sure that data is coming coming perfect all right so now let's see that how we can just make a model and all so First of all, let's come on the command line, just clear it and just define a service here. So for the service, let's make a command with the ng g service and service name. Let's say my service name is users. All right. So when I'm just hitting the command, then you will see that we have the two files, one for the service and another for the service testing. So we don't need this file, so we can just leave it as it is and let's come to the user.service.ts so here i am just going to make a function like uh, user data all right and this function is basically return some data let's it's have a const like data or something and it and here it's actually returning an array and in the array there is some information inside the object like name can be bruce and uh, then can be email id and email id can be like boost the rate test.com and after that uh, let's see it have the age like 32 and after that uh, nationality so let's say we are just checking that this is indian or not so we can just check that it's indian yes or no so let's say it's true all right so uh, this is basically a data and if we are defining a model for it then we can use the interface which is the basically belong to the TypeScript so we are not going to deep in the TypeScript but when we are using the angular model this is basically a TypeScript interface now let's see that how we can define a model or interface for it so just write here interface like this and uh, let's say we can just define it user type right like user Mm -hmm. user type all right and let's make it kind of object here let's name name can be string yep then email this is also string then age it should be uh, number yep and then uh, Indian so Indian uh, it can be a boolean value true and false so we can just write here boolean all right so how we can apply this interface now the question is that so in this function let's uh, return the data like this all right and inside the const value we can just simply define here um, data and colon we can call it annotation and then user type alright and this user type can be an array because this is basically belong to the array alright so if this is not an array this is of a symbol object then we can just normally define it like this alright but this is an array so we can just define an array array means can there be more than one object can be present like alright so if I am just going to put here uh, string as uh, as Indian then here you can see that you got an error here and if you just want to see that that it will just show you show you that uh, uh, the name is string then email is also string 
but Indian is a boolean this is not assignable in the type of user type alright because this is the basically uh, boolean value but here we are just showing that this is the string so it cannot be possible and if I'm just going to define a boolean then this error below won't be guy up right so if I'm just going to same define a null here then it will still show the error all right so with that way we can just simply validate our data all right so that's why we use the model in the angular if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care